Hey, what's up you guys? It is me, Sparksy, and welcome back to another episode of Cooper q and I actually haven't said that in such a long time. So the reason that I haven't done Cooper Q&A in a long time is if you've not seen my update video, my laptop did break, and I did actually record Cooper Q&A episode six, and whilst that video was uploading, my laptop actually broke in the middle of it, and the video never got uploaded, and I could never save you the file. So here I am, reshooting it, re-recording it six months later. So for those of you who do not know what Cooper Q&A is, this is the series I do where you guys ask me your Sly Cooper related questions and I do try to answer them to the best of my ability. Just to throw it out there, I do not work for Sucker Punch or Sony or Sanzaru or the Sly Cooper community. Well, I, I'm in the Sly Cooper community. What I mean is I don't work for the Sly Cooper company because trust me, you would be surprised. I'm just a fangirl and I like answering questions. And this is just my way to stay intact with the community and stay interested in the series and just to create something for Sly Cooper fans to watch. And it'd be interesting and to interact with other fans. So to send me a question, all you have to do is just comment down on any Cooper Q&A related video and I will answer it in the next two Cooper q and I do. Jesus, I actually can't talk English properly. Like, what is wrong with me? But yeah, just comment down on any Cooper q and related video and I will answer your question in the next one. Or alternatively, you can send me questions on Twitter and I will answer it in the next video that way too. I actually got quite a few questions and there are a lot of questions from the last video as well, which I'm not going to answer in this video because I got quite a lot of questions on Twitter because I asked for you to send me questions on Twitter. If you do not follow me on Twitter, there is a link downstairs in the description for you to go follow that. I recommend, I'm quite active on there. So if any of you want to talk or DM me, you can on Twitter. So you're going to have to bear with me today. I'm not really with it for some reason and it is quite early in the morning, so... I don't know what's wrong with me today. And plus, I haven't done Cooper Q&A in the longest time, so please do bear with me. Okay, the first question today is from Conservative Leon. Do you have an opinion slash criticism about Sly Cooper that you have never shared publicly? I don't know if I've said this before, but the third game is my least favorite, and an unpopular opinion that I've never shared publicly is that I think that the third game, yeah, I'm not keen on the third game. I think that the whole flashback just isn't good. That's just not my type, really, when it comes to games. I don't like it when they do that. I think it's very, I don't know. I just found the story to be boring. Oh, everyone's gonna hate me, but yeah, I don't really like Sly 3 and I have a hard time playing through it. I actually tried to play through it not long ago, about a month and a half ago, and I got to Dead Men Tell No Tales and then I was just like, nope, like, I can't play this game. Like, I genuinely can't. I'm a massive Sly fan, but for some reason, I just can't do Sly 3. I just don't enjoy it. So yeah. Uh, an opinion that I've never shared publicly is that I actually have an extreme distaste for Sly 3. I can appreciate that it is a fan favourite and that it is a good game, but I just don't enjoy it like I enjoy Sly 1 and 2. We're going to leave Sly 4 out of the equation, but I don't like Sly 3. People are going to kill me. <laughs> I'm sick of it! No! No! Henry. Next question is from Jordan Swafford. I'm not sure if this was asked before, but which Carmelita voice actress is your favourite? I think it has been asked, but my favourite voice actress for Carmelita is the Sly One voice actress. I actually can't remember her name, but I think she portrays Carmelita the best. It's a shame that the voice acting in the first game is a little bit dodgy and it does just sound like they're reading straight from a script and there's not really a lot of emotion in the voice acting. But aside from that, I think that the Sly One Carmelita is the best voice suited for her character. Whereas the Sly Free Carmelita just suddenly has a really strong accent in like three and four, as in two, not so much. It's so confusing. I don't know what they're doing with her voice actor, but I think Sly One is the best voice actor hers, the Sly One Carmelita. I could have worded that a lot better. Next question is from Nat. Favourite slash best Sly design? Carmelita from Sly 2 comic book cinematics or from Sly 4? Easily the Sly 2 comic book cinematics because it's just got that classic style to it, whereas Sly 4 character models and designs, in my opinion, 
didn't really like them. So I'm gonna have to go with the Sly 2 comic book design. Next question is from Johnny the Hip Boy. Biggest criticism with Sly 2 specifically? Now I think that I've said this before, but I think the biggest criticism I have is that I found the plot twist with Naylor turning out to betray you extremely predictable. And I, even when I was young, when I didn't really have a fully developed brain, I was like, yeah, she's probably gonna end up betraying and backstabbing us. And she does. I just found it to be extremely predictable and I didn't like that part of the story and the whole Contessa thing. I, I just didn't really enjoy that part of the game. But like the Rajon stuff and um, Rajon stuff, that's all I kind of remember from Sly 2 and Dimitri's level. But I didn't really like Nayla just sort of, you know, betraying you. I found it extremely predictable and there was not really a lot of build up to it. It was just sort of like, oh, she's betrayed you, boom, done. Like, just thought that was a bit poorly planned on their part. Next question is from Nate Gammon. If any Sly game were to come out, what would be your ideal game? For reboot, Sly 1 remake, Sly 5 sequel that follows up the Sly 4 ending or something else? Now this is a tough question because everybody knows that Sly 1 is my favorite of the entire series, but I would also love a Sly 5. And I would also love to see Sly 1 remade. I think that there were a lot of flaws with the first game and I can admit that the game hasn't aged well at all. Like, at all. The game's not aged well. And some of the levels are poorly designed and I think that they could go back and fix that with a Sly 1 remake. And it would be, in my opinion, a good opportunity, say, like they did with Ratchet and Clank. So like, say if they were to do a Sly movie, they could do the movie and then they could remake the first game. I think that would be a pretty cool idea and I think that was cool when Ratchet and Clank did that because people who bought the game then were like, oh maybe I should buy the movie and then people who bought the movie and had a games console were like, oh maybe I should buy the game too if they enjoyed the movie, you know? So I feel like if they were to execute it and promote it correctly, then I think a Sly 1 remake would be cool. But I also really want a Sly 5 because the ending to Sly 4 is just torture and I think it is really easy for any company to pick it up as long as they know how to develop and structure games. I think that is a perfect opportunity and I've basically done that for every single Sly game. Just a little bit of a cliffhanger at the end which makes it easier for them to pick up where they left off. So hopefully with a Sly 5 they do that. The next question is from Ota Arcana. Sorry if I say any of you guys' names wrong, I suck at pronouncing names. Here is a few from this person. So they ask, what is your favorite guard from any of the four games and what sort of guard or design would you want in future games? My favorite guard in a Sly game is this guy right here, Vinny. He's in Sly 1 in Mugshot Hub World. I think I said in my Master Thief Sprints video about this guard and how he was my favorite guard in any Sly game. I just find it really memorable and how much I loved that guard when I was growing up. And um, with a boss, I would say what sort of guard design. It says what sort of guard design would you want in future games or boss. I'm going to go with a boss. I think I said in my last episode that I would like a hamster as a boss because hamsters are so unintimidating. Is that the right word? They're not intimidating at all. So having a hamster trying to be intimidating would just be comical at most. They also ask, what is your favorite piece of music from the games? I'm gonna have to say the music from Sly 1 is just amazing and I think it really it really fits the theme of each level in each hub world, such as like the Ms. Ruby music and the themes in that hub world are just absolutely on par and they really match the environments and stuff. Same with Sunset Snake Eyes with Mugshot's Hub. I think that soundtrack perfectly suits Hub World. So I think that Sly 1 music is amazing. But I also really like the music in Sly 3, even though literally five minutes ago, I just trashed a game and was like, oh, I don't like it very much. I will admit that the soundtrack in Sly 3 is pretty good and it does suit, again, like the composers are so good at suiting the music to the level and I think that's what Sly 1 and Sly 3 are really good at and the Sly 2 soundtrack's good as well so I would say my favourite piece of music ever in any Sly game is a stealthy approach from Sly 1 and I also like all of the music in Sly 1 Bugshots, Hub World 2, Sunset Snake Eyes and the last one from this person is if we could meet more Cooper ancestors down the line who would you want to see? 
I would love to see Thaddeus, he's not really spoke about a lot, but I found him to be quite an interesting character. And another one is Henriette Wanai Cooper. She is actually mentioned in Sly 4 very briefly, but we never see her and she's only just mentioned in the previous game. So I'd love to see Henriette because she's the only female ancestor we know of. And her story sounds pretty interesting because she was a pirate and obviously the Sly Cooper games have really touched on being a pirate, such as in the end of Sly 3, the last hub world there, you get to sort of control a pirate ship. And in Sly 4, there is a pirate level in that, right? Or there's a pirate mission and that's when they mention Henriette. Next question is from Kai Williams. If there were to be comics made, which there has been, what subjects or story points should never be touched or explained? For me, it's the Clockwork's full origins. I'm gonna have to agree with you there. I think that that should be remained a mystery, is Clockwork's full origins. And plus, I think it'd be kind of a boring story as well. This is an unpopular opinion, but I think they should not talk about Sly's dad much either. I mean, they can talk about his endeavors as a thief, because he was indeed a master thief, but I don't think they should talk about, you know, the moments as when he passed away, because he was obviously killed by clockwork in the Fiendish Five, which is obviously touched on in the first game, or well, not touched on, it's literally what the game is about based on that. And I also think they shouldn't really talk about Sly's mother either, because I think that's the whole point. It's supposed to be a mystery, because that's not really what it's about. Like, yeah, his mother died, his father died like right? that's all you should know his father was also a master thief you know Connor and I think that yeah they should touch on a little bit of Connor's past of him being a thief which they do through the games but I don't think they should talk about you know when he had Sly and when he died because that's pretty much already briefly touched on so I think them talking about that is just very unnecessary so if they were to do a comic and they were to touch on that I would be pretty disappointed. Next question is from Anto Pillick. If they ever make a new game what locations would you want? London. I've said this countless times I would really like London and I think that is a good opportunity um, obviously because there's a lot of rooftops and stuff and there's Big Ben obviously they're not going to remake Big Ben because I don't know, they might, because they did the Eiffel Tower. I mean, you couldn't climb it, but it was obviously referenced and you could see it, right? Or am I going crazy? But I would love to see London. I think, think medieval London was in Sly 4. Am I right there? I, I don't know. I would like to see modern day London in a Sly 5 per se. I think that would be really cool. And it'd be a really good opportunity for them to sort of, you know, again, compose a soundtrack around that theme. I think it'd be really cool. And obviously the good opportunity of rooftops climbing and the missions and the characters they could make and just really be stereotypical like they were with the Paris one in Sly 2 and Dimitri. So I think that'd be pretty funny. And the last question today is from Clark Kent III. Have you ever seen a good Sly Cooper YouTube poop? Yes, I have. Literally every single one made by Computer Cat Gaming. That guy cracks me up. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all the questions for today. Well, not pretty much. That is all the questions for today. Again, if you want to ask me any questions, just comment down below on any Cooper Q&A related video or send them to me on Twitter. But make sure that you specify if it's not on a Cooper Q&A related video or you're tweeting it or DMing it at me. Make sure you specify that it's for Cooper Q&A. Otherwise, I'll just answer it normally. And we don't want that, do we? Anyway, thanks to everybody that asked a question. I really do appreciate it. Again, the more questions that are asked, the more episodes I'll do because sometimes I'll get people being like, oh, make Cooper Q&A, but I don't have any questions to answer. So the more questions you guys ask me for Cooper Q&A, the more episodes will happen. So really, the series is in your hands. Okay, so thanks for watching. Stay safe, you all. And I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye, take care, and stay sly.